Shut it off. Shut the pump off. Shut the pump. Good morning, folks. Heading over to the grain bins. I'm going to take the bush hog over there. That way, if we have to wait on a truck or anything, I can bush hog around the grain bins. Because we are still cleaning bins out. Story of our lives. BJ and Larry, they've already hauled, uh, I think, two loads. I'm just getting over here. I had some stuff I had to do in the office this morning. But I see a toolbox and some corn on the ground. And our BJ just engaged the bin sweep with that lever there. So hopefully this thing will run. We might have to shovel some more out, but I think it'll. Yeah, top road. Got the... We're in business. All right, this big bin here, it is now empty, so. This is what it left. It didn't quite get all of this, so I'm going to sweep it into that hole. Fun, fun, fun. While I was sweeping in that bin, my brother, he started cleaning out the wet bin. And as you can see, this is only a 36 foot diameter bin. So that was one load. Now in that big bin, the 48 footer, we wouldn't have moved half that distance. So there's probably another load and a half in this bin. Maybe two loads, maybe. Okay, we're gonna spray some uh, fungicide on some soybeans today. Uh, BSF give us some new fungicide to try and uh, we're gonna uh, spray a plot, about uh, 20, 30 acres of that. Then uh, that much of another kind beside of it and kind of compare them, see what it does. So we're here getting the sprayer out, and get filled up, get started. Okay, we got the wool checked and everything. See if she'll start. Time to delay to start. It takes a while for the key sometimes to cycle. I don't know, it takes 30 seconds or so sometimes. Okay, we got filled up, got started here. Had to get everything to monitor. Let's this is a, uh, I guess, a new fungicide out from, uh, I guess, BSF. This is uh, what, what it is, Raytech, Ravetech, something like that. So we got enough for 30 out, uh, acres. We're going to try it. Uh, then we'll put a, our other fungicide beside of it, and. Uh, maybe a comparison. We'll make a comparison ourselves, probably. She was like putting on 20 gallon an acre of uh, water. My old tracks. I try to follow them. I think I started from the other side of the field, so I'm not uh, in line with my old tracks. We got a little bit of volunteer corn. I uh, might come back and, and put something in. The, probably should have put something in it now. I could have put it in the injector and kind of spotted it, but uh, we didn't. So. Uh, See what the weather does. We might come back and put something in to kill the compound here, corn. Usually it don't mount to anything, it just looks bad. You know, we just got back from lunch break, so I'll hop back in the bin and get back to cleaning. Apparently, everybody was getting tired of slimy ham sandwiches, so we treated ourselves to some barbecue today, and I must say it was delicious. Now, let's take bets on who has to go take a dump first between me, BJ, and Larry. Time will tell. Now since this bin moves the sweep so much for load one load, we uh, we've just walked behind it and keep it sweeped up as we go. Turns out it was me that had to go to the bathroom first. Coming in hot. Only part of this sweat is from the heat. Well, the good news is this is the last load of this contract, so good stuff. So I think we gotta clean out 
I think we'll have to shovel out just a little bit more grain. As much as I was hoping to avoid getting in there again, I guess we better go ahead and get in the bed. Out this other field, got one more around here, just a few acres. <clears throat> this trip where I do it, and then we'll be in our other fudge site to get what we've been using. And, uh, and we can kind of compare it. We like to always compare, compare uh, different, different uh, fudge sites, different things, see what works good on our farm. Don't always work good on uh, on your farm. These tests, what shows the books, the magazines, but uh, I like to use what works good on our farms. Everybody's farm is a little different, different, different types of soil and things. So. All right, back in the tractor we go. Gonna make a quick lap down the lane, bush hogging, and then I think me and Dad are gonna go do some excavating. Little flexy. like pineapples out there. Back to the shed. You want to see what we're excavating? Check out the After Hours channel. Some stuff gets stuck. A lot of mud. A little bit of off-roading. Good stuff. Yep, safe travels. Yep, thanks a lot. Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. That was Ben with Farm Focus. He was down. Uh, he actually came down last night, spent the night. He's came all the way from Nebraska to pick up a gator, a rock sore. So uh, he was uh, stopped down. I told him he could hang out for the night and uh, head over and get that. So he just left. But um, looks like today we are spraying. So we got to get Dad loaded up with some chemicals and then. Um, he's going to spray. I think I'm going to do some bush hogging. I think Larry's coming over detailing a couple of trucks. So, see what else we can get into. Speaking of Farm Focus, if you don't know it, they sell all of our merchandise. So, if you want a Brown Family Farms hat or a Brian's Farming Videos t shirt, head over to farmfocus.com and you can find our apparel and lots of other Ag YouTubers' apparel there. It's kind of like the one stop shop. This morning dad is going to be spraying fungicide on some soybeans and then I think tomorrow we're going to spray some fungicide on some corn. Um, we're going to do that with our oxbow and not an airplane. So that should be uh, interesting to see at least. Hopefully we can get the drone working. You guys ain't seen much drone footage because the drone's broke. It had a run in with a tree and I was not the pilot and neither was my class. Alright, so my brother, he's, uh, he went ahead inside the bush hog, so I'm going to ride around with Dad and the sprayer. Really, the sprayer is the one job that I'm not super comfortable with. I don't have a lot of hours in the seat, so uh, since BJ took the bush hogging job, I'm like, yeah, I'll ride around with Dad, spray a tank with him. I've sprayed, but I haven't sprayed more than like 500 acres, so I uh, don't have near as much experience as my dad in it, so i going to get some more today. Right, this boom back here, this is the fungicide boom. It's not plumbed in right now because we're not running corn, but when we start putting fungicide on the corn, this boom will work instead of the front boom. That way you're not driving through your fungicide. Since the corn's going to be as tall as the cab of the sprayer, that's why we're doing that. Okay, show Brian how to spray. He, he, he had a good time here. Wondering how to do the job, but never ends. There's a dry spot there in the field. You can see this gravel right out here, real, real gravel here, gravelly. Why does it look like that one nozzle shooting off the side almost as late as hitting that boom and maybe deflecting it? It is. What I mean is that back one. It's offset. Take it easy right there. There's a low spot right here. You gotta make some boots work. You got the auto. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Don't slow down that much. Just slow down a couple mile an hour. You got the auto boot on. You gotta let it work. It'll run like 15 mile an hour. 
know if you can tell that how it's, uh, of course the wind's blowing, but that's how the beans are dry spots, gravelly spots. So we're not using our auto steer just because uh, we're not using the same path as uh, when he sprayed the post spray, so we'd be making extra tracks. So uh, I'm just trying to stay in these tracks as best we can. So you say you'll be able to hear the pump when we run out? Yeah. Okay, slow down and turn here before you get that dip and raise it up. Boom's on manual now. He learned how to run it on manual. Beeping means when the tank's slow, just about empty. Here, shut it off. Shut the pump off. Shut the pump off. There you go. You don't want it to run dry. We're done. So last year I ran the demo Oxbow a little bit, just a tank through it, I think. But this is the first time I've ever driven a sprayer that has four wheel steer. I don't have enough experience in the sprayer without four wheel steer for it to really be all that squirrely feeling. I didn't think it was all that bad. You have to hold the toggle down, right? There's yep. no automatic. So we're watching those cradles in the mirror, right? Yep. Yeah, okay. Go up down. Nope, 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 not that button. Wing button. Yes, green. It says red. No. Bad part about a front mount. Can't see anything. Yep, end of the spray lesson for now. I gotta run home and get Dad a jug of chemical. And then I think I'm gonna hop in the bush hog around lunchtime, trade places with my brother. So, go get that jug of Roundup first. So, we'll go get that jug of chemical first. Yep, I found the bush hog. All right, took Dad his chemical. Kicked BJ out of the cab and here we are. Nah, I didn't really kick him out. I told him I'd switch him when I got his lunch, he'd go eat. And uh, I know where all the stuff we want, we want to mow around over here is, like, you know, in tall weeds. Like, look at this cultivator, for example. Really see the corn suffering. Leaves are all rolled up. If you want to go look at corn and not get depressed, it's best to do it before 8 in the morning. Then it still looks nice and pretty. As the day goes on, the leaves curl, but we get a chance of rain tonight, so hopefully we can get that. Hopefully we don't find large chunks of concrete. There's the seek itself, it's test plot. Lots of different varieties, you can see lots of different heights of corn. Uh, must have cooled off because the corn isn't here is rolled up. Hey guys, thanks for watching this video. Kind of ends a little abruptly. My SD card filled up, but I uh, would like to thank uh, Ben from Farm Focus for coming down. We did film a rock sore video, so you'll be seeing that in the near future. Let's just say the rock sore has a little bit more horsepower now. But uh, thanks for watching, and if you haven't, uh, give the video a thumbs up if you like the content, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't, and we'll see you in the next one.